Hello and welcome to the Fantasy Sanctuary. Of course, we're talking Fantasy Game Day. I am going to walk you through 10 key picks for this week's Fantasy Game Day slate. We are going to talk through the captain pick, the quarterback, running back, wide receiver and tight end. To each position, talking through the key superstars, the key enablers to help you bring home some money this week. If you haven't come across the Fantasy Game Day, it is a brand new daily fantasy app just for UK listeners. You can use the code TFS to get a a free second entry when you deposit, when you enter that first lineup, you will automatically be gifted that. Get involved. It is going to blow up over the next year. And it is really interesting because it's slightly different. You get more money to play with. You can build superstar lineups. And of course, that all important captain pick is everything. Now, while we're talking about those captain picks, let's start there. We'll run you through my two. These guys, I'm attacking this Detroit-New Orleans matchup. It is a 45.5 point over-under, but I think there is some sneaky upside in this. Yes, the Saints have got a plethora of injuries at the wide receiver position. Michael Thomas is on IR. Chris olave has got a concussion. Rashid Zahid is not going to play. So that means Will's up for Alvin Kamara. He's only £6,000. That is reasonably priced. We're talking over £2,000 cheaper than Christian McCaffrey. He's averaging almost 20 points per game. You can see that target share number there, 20.3% target share. With all those wide receiver injuries, I would not be shocked to see Alvin Kamara getting a huge volume of targets. And given Fancy Game Day's PPR, he could easily return on that 6000 price in that captain pick. If you can get... 18 points, double it to 36. That's three times the price. That is the number that we are looking for for all of these selections. Three times your price and you're going to make some money. The other captain pick, Amon Ross St. Brown. I sent out some tweets earlier this week. 19 consecutive games of 10 plus points. Eight consecutive games of 15 plus points. He is just so reliable week in, week out. He's averaging over 21 points a game this year. Yes, okay. There's some decent players in that Saints secondary, but I think Amaros and Brown, the way the Lions use him all over the field, every team knows on third and fourth downs where the ball's going and they still can't stop him. He gets open for fun. And at 6,800, I think he's a really interesting captain pick if you wanted to go down to the wide receiver position. At the quarterback position, look, I talked up Amaros and Brown, so of course I'm looking for that stack. We've got Jared Goff, £5,400. He's had back-to-back bad weeks which normally means that his ownership is going to be low. People are going to be nervous. That's when I look to bounce in, get that bounce back. As I said, not the greatest matchup, but it still should be a game that's got some decent points scored. And I think that Jared Goff paired with Amaros and Brown should give you a nice little advantage. And then the other player that I want to go, okay, maybe hold your nose here. If you want to buy down at the quarterback position and give yourself an enabler there, Kenny Pickett. Yes, he's averaging less than 10 points per game, but he had one of the most impressive games, not from a statistical perspective, but in terms of his play last week under the new offensive coordinator. I think this offense is going to continue to take steps forward as we see the the new offensive coordinator, the new play caller start to get their feet wet. And I think that Kenny Pickett of 4,200 could easily be a slate breaker this week if you're thinking all he's got to do is 16 ppr points and that's four times his price if you're getting someone like Jalen hurts who's over 8,800 this week you're you're looking almost 30 points for him to pay off like that so kenny pickett could be hold your nose dive in and there's some nice little intriguing stack options there as well to go with him. Uh, the running back position, there's two obvious picks this week, both cheap. Zach Moss, it feels like everyone's going to be plugging him in. Everyone's going to be talking about him. He is priced down at 3,600. He, he scored almost 20 points a game as the lead back, 19.43, as you can see on screen there. Yes, everyone's going to play him, but sometimes you just got to eat the chalk and say, you know, 12 points, that's three times the price. I'm happy with that. And then the other cheap option that I don't think people are talking about, Chuba Hubbard down at 2,600. This is criminally underrated. He has seen 31 touches across his last two games. I think this is his backfield. I think as the Panthers are starting to rebuild this offense, I think Chuba Hubbard is going to be the one that gets the work. And at that price, you know, you're talking 
seven, eight points and he's already paying off. I think he could easily get double digits and uh, and easily be a, uh, a very intriguing option given the price that he's got. Uh, the wide receiver position, look, Garrett Wilson, yes, you've you've got to kind of pinch yourself. It's disgusting. But any time a player is 3,800 and he's come on a 32.1% target share, Tim Ball is going to be at home. They're playing Atlanta. Yes, AJ Terrell is a shutdown corner, but the way the Jets move Garrett Wilson around, I think they're going to move him in the slot. He's going to get motioned. He's going to get some free releases. And I think that given the price, he could easily pay that off. And then Puka Nakua, we know Cooper Cup's not healthy. We know that you know, this offense is going to need to throw the ball. The 39 and a half over under, I think, is sneaky underrated. As I talked about on the main preview show last week, it's it's actually creeping up. 98% of the cash is on the over. I wouldn't be shocked if that's a 42, 43 point over under by the time we get to Sunday. And it feels like Pukunuku has had a few quiet weeks. So maybe this is the week that he kind of bounces back. At the tight end position, Juwan Johnson... It plays into my Detroit New Orleans heavy game stack. We talked about the wide receiver injuries at 2,400. He's getting 15% targets per route run rate. That's an easy point for him to pay off. I feel like he could easily get six, seven, eight targets. We also know he's good in the red zone. And then the final tight end pick, you can almost plug and play. I think this is three or four weeks I've talked about him on this slate, but he's £400 cheaper than he was last week. Trey McBride, 3,800, 26% targets per route run. We've seen Zach Ertz get released this week. They know that Trey McBride is there. And also on the injury report, so you've got that little orange shading on the app. I think people will maybe be turned off picking him. Decent low ownership, but... He's going to play. He's healthy. They just manage him already. So, yeah, really intriguing couple of tight end options. Is there someone that I've not touched on? Is someone that you think is a screaming value? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, get that lineup across on Fantasy Game Day. Use that code TFS23 for that second free entry. And, of course, best of luck this week. I hope you bring home the cash.